I bet Cursor can not do this. Yes, I'm talking about the super cool thing that Zen Coder can. However, Cursor just cannot. But before diving right into it, let me ask you one simple question. Have you ever thought of building your own perfect dream house? I'm sure we all have been there, haven't we? But now, what if I told you that you had to build this entire house all by yourself? Let it be laying the bricks, doing the electrical wiring, designing the interiors, making the architecture for your house all by yourself. That sounds quite overwhelming, right? But trust me, that's exactly how it feels to build an entire application all by yourself. But not anymore. Because with one clever hack that I like to call multi-agent orchestration and leveraging custom AI agents by Zen Coder, you can actually create a perfect team of dedicated AI agents which are experts in their own fields, like having a front-end developer, a back-end developer, a product manager, a designer, you name it, you can do it with Zen Coder's custom AI agents. And with my hack, you can actually make these agents work together like a perfect dream team and build some really cool applications. So let me show you how. After seamlessly integrating Zen Coder into your IDE, all you need to do is navigate to the top and find the menu icon. Once you click on that, you can actually navigate to custom agents. And here we can see that we have the option to add custom agents. But before creating these agents, let's take a basic React to do app for this video and let's try to build it using my team of agents. For that, I actually need one planner or a product manager agent who can actually figure out how to create this app, what all needs to be done, what all functionality needs to be put there. And I will need one front end developer who will actually build the app or the UI. So let's start by adding the product manager or the planner. So I'm calling it the planner. And now I'll be giving it a persona. So I'll just say you are a planning pro who loves to plan projects, break them into actionable or to-do tasks for the developers. And then I would like to call it by the command again planner. And boom, our planner agent is already added. Let's add the front end dev now. So I click on add again. I'll give it a name front end developer. And again, I'll give it a persona you. So I'll just say you are an amazing front end developer who loves building clean, neat, modern UI with animations. Sounds about right. And now in order to give the command to call this agent in chat, I'll just go with front end dev. And again, I'll click on add and we're all set. We already have two agents that will be working as a team in order to build this project for us. However, now the question is, how do we make our agents work together like a perfect team in sync towards building this application? And here comes one more amazing feature from Zen Coder. If you click here on the menu icon, it's called instructions for AI. So basically any instructions that we give here act as common set of instructions for all the AI agents. So I'll just give these instructions that please use todo.md file as the context. Make sure to copy your responses to the todo.md and use it to track the progress because why not, right? But why am I doing this? because I want these agents to communicate with each other. So I'm kind of building a todo.md file, which will act like a scratch pad where each agent can pen down their thoughts or let it be a common collaborative space where agents can collaborate with each other, take context from each other so that they can actually work in a synchronized manner. So I'll just click on save. And now we are all set to start building our application. But before that, we need a plan. So I'll quickly call the planner agent here and I'll ask it, can you please plan and break down a small to-do app using React into small actionable parts for front-end 
dev. So I'll put a question mark, but before executing this command, I want to show you that I've already created a GitHub repo called Zen to do react. And as you can see, it does not have anything other than Git attributes. So it's actually an empty repo. And now let's go back to Zen coder and execute this command. So I'll just click enter. Oh, we can already see that there's a planner agent working on a request. And I love the fact that it's actually called planner. And it says that it's happy to help us. And it's also creating a todo.md file to track our progress and outline the actionable tasks for the front-end developer. So let's see what it comes up with. I'm so excited. Amazing. It was so fast. It has rapidly created a plan and it's a comprehensive plan where it will be discussing project setup, structure, enhancements, task organization. So I'll just click on apply and boom, we have our plan here. It already looks amazing. And it is also like, this is just amazing that it's using these small checkboxes in order for other agents to actually, you know, cross out the tasks that have already been completed. This is super, super creative and helpful. And I love how, how well it has been structured, like the core features implementation, data persistence, it's taking care of the visual design, the user experience is just amazing. All right. So now that we have this, we can move forward with the front end developer. So I'll just go back to charts and here I would like to show you another beautiful feature from Zen coder. It's actually what makes the user experience so great. So since I know that I just had this chart with my planner agent, I can actually click here and rename the chart and I'll just call it my planner. So that next time when I want to visit the planner or discuss something with it or make some changes, I can just simply go and visit the chart history and click on my planner. How crazy is that, right? Now going back to charts, let's create a new chart. And this time it's time for our front end dev. But before we actually do that, let me tell you about coffee mode, which is another amazing feature from Zen coder. So basically what that means is if you execute these commands with command shift and enter or command return and enter, you can just sit back, have a cup of coffee and let Zen coder do all the work, zero interference required. If it comes across any issues, it will automatically fix them and also apply all the changes automatically. We do not have to lift a finger other than for drinking a good cup of coffee. Hmm. The coffee is amazing and so is the coffee mold on Zen Coder. So let's try it out. So I'll just say, uh, can you code the React to do app? And I'm hoping that it will automatically refer to the to do.md file, which is basically the hack to make this multi or multi agent orchestration work. I'll do command shift and enter. And now I'll just have my cup of coffee. I'll chill for a while and let Zen coder do all the work. Hmm. It's already saying the first thing it said is it will help a clean modern react to do app with animations and emojis based on the to do.md file. So basically a multi-agent orchestration is actually working, which is just so amazing. And I'm literally not doing anything. It's automatically creating everything as you can see. So now I'll just have my cup of coffee and watch it do the magic. Wow. Oh my God. Even before I had my cup of coffee, it has marked almost all of these tasks complete. This is, this is just amazing. And it has also told what all features it completed. It has summarized them so beautifully with emojis. Amazing. It has actually implemented almost all the visual design uh, functionalities that we had requested it to through the planner, of course, through the plan created by the planner. 
and i i'm just i'm just amazed because it has actually done all the necessary functionality which was required and i think now it's trying to install the dependencies and actually later on maybe it'll start the react app so let's just wait wow i still have some coffee left and even before i could finish my coffee zen coder has finished building to do project so we can see that zen coder has actually created the application and now it's asking me to do an npm start to start the application and i cannot wait to see it but before that i'll just quickly go through the directory structure so over here you can see all the files that it has created and I'll just go and quickly verify so I can see a source folder, the components, the styles, the global styles. It it just looks perfect and it has already installed the node modules as well. So that means we can just go ahead and copy this command. I'll paste it here and the moment of truth. Wow. The UI is so impressive. I mean, look at it. It has used such cute emojis here, and and there's a toggle to switch across dark mode and light mode. The UI looks so clean, and I love how it has a rocket next to the add task button, and it asks what need to be done. All right, so I'll just say create a video, and I I love how how precise it is and how much attention to detail it has given. So I'll just click on that task, and wow, that that was quick. So I'm able to add the task. Um, I think this is for editing. So all right, create a video soon, and I'll press enter. Even even the button keyboard support works here, and then we have this icon to actually move it to trash or actually erase the task at all, and we can we can move across active task, completed task. So right now we did not mark any task complete, so it's telling us no task yet. Add a new task to get started on your journey. And now, let me ask one, uh, like maybe edit the video. Right, documentation, and submit the video. I I just love how beautifully. it has you know paid so much attention to making the ui neat clean and this is extremely impressive so i'll just mark it as done i mean look at that the way it changes color to green this is just so good i mean it's it's extremely impressive i am dazzled all right so i've just marked them as done so i should not see them like these three under the active tab and i do not wow So that works, and that works perfectly fine. And the way it transitions, it's it's so smooth. If I click on active, if I move from all to active, just just look at the transition. This is super smooth. Such such great UI. And then if I see completed tasks, I can see the ones that I've completed, and it is also showing me the total number of tasks that are there, like the number of all tasks over here. It's just so nice, and if I click here, I can see it in light mode as well. But I prefer the dark mode personally. So, yeah, I mean, even before I could finish my cup of coffee, Zen Coder has built such a beautiful application, and I'm just so happy that multi-agent orchestration through the hack by providing instructions to all AI agents to refer to the to do dot md file. by going here in zen coder again instructions for ai so this is actually uh, the kind of hack that i used and along with custom ai agents of course that zen coder is provide so i think these features helped us to actually do multi agent orchestration and help both the agents work together as you can also see that the front end developer agent has actually um marked the task as completed the ones that it did and these tasks were like initially empty when they were created by the planner agent these boxes were not at all checked so it's just crazy how how we could build such a beautiful ecosystem around these and that's that being said thank you so much for watching this video till the end uh, it means a lot to me and i'll see you in the next one
स्टे कूल स्टेज एन थैंक यू बाय